In my undergraduate engineering program, I studied nuclear engineering. I had the opportunity to do 48 months, which is two years of co-ops and internships, and I don't regret it. I think it was one of the best experience and value adds to my career that I've ever done. So was the two years of co-op and internship worth it? Well, it was, and the reason why is because I had the chance to work with three different companies, experience three different cultures in the nuclear industry. I got a chance to work with the utility, with two different vendors on, you know, lead different projects get site security clearance access okay uh, which is really important to help you get that full-time job outside of school graduate with zero student loans and especially zero interest and also getting a strategic break which allowed me to really focus in on my studies when I was back at school and also enhance my learning experience at my university because I had this practical experience so see this degree right here well it's an undergraduate degree and it might be a controversial opinion but a lot of folks in the nuclear energy industry may say that this is just a piece of paper without a co-op or an internet now, I promise you, if you're trying to find a job in the nuclear energy industry or many other industries at large in this day and age, you need a co-op. Co-op or an internship is pretty much a prerequisite to getting that job out of undergrad, okay? Or even having a successful career. So like I said, if you're new to my channel, my name is Osama Big. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on my channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also like to chat about my undergrad experiences and share how my experience was studying nuclear engineering in my undergraduate program. Program. Now let's jump into why are co-ops and internships more valuable than a standalone degree? Well, want to know why? Well, it's simple. It's competition in the energy industry. Like most industries, competition is rising, especially when it comes to engineering. Engineering is very popular and markets, they adapt to select the most qualified candidates and the energy industry is no exception. Survive of the fittest. However, don't misunderstand me. You still need to get your degree because without your degree, you can't necessarily enter the workforce as a full-time engineer or full-time anything you need your degree well you also need to get your experiences in your co-op or internship both of them go hand in hand it's like a hand in a glove you can't have one without the other and with a standalone degree there still is a potential to have a full-time job whereas just having co-ops and internships may will never get you that full-time job so understanding that co-ops and internships are valuable but really finishing that degree and getting that qualification is very very important okay so let's jump into the advantages of a site security clearance okay so many Many may not know what a security clearance is. Well, a security clearance is an extensive traceability and background check, which is conducted by the CSIS, which is the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, pretty much the FBI of Canada. Now, why does Canada ask you to do this? Well, it's the reason why is because it's a requirement to work at utilities, at the regulator, and many other vendors that are actually doing on-site work, okay? So it's a huge value add to your portfolio. Now, site security clearance is are important because once you do an internship or co-op, you pretty much have to do your clearance. Okay. It takes a certain amount of time to do your clearance. It takes around six weeks or so, so almost two months. And what happens with companies is they don't necessarily want to take on the paperwork or necessarily even have to wait for your security clearance to go through. Okay. It's really annoying for an employer or recruiter to give you a job offer and then be like, oh yeah, you, you got to maybe start in two to three months. It's kind of annoying. Well, now, you know, if you look at day-to-day -day work, you may not even be doing a technical position where you're having to go into the plant to do your work. However, you still need a clearance, okay? Because you need to show to the industry that I'm a trustable person who can work in the industry. So if you're having a little bit of anxiety and a little bit scared as to whether you'll be able to pass, pass or not, I promise you it's not a big issue unless you have a criminal record or some sort of criminal offenses under your profile. You really don't have anything to worry about. You need a traceability as well, which means, you know, having traceable history of knowing your past employers. And you can Google most of these things and find them online. I'll include some links in the description below to help you get started with that. All right, so let's jump into another benefit of co-op and internship that I found was trying out new roles and really finding your match or really close to it. So I think this was by far one of the most valuable experiences when it came to co-ops or internships. I think the biggest question when you have an undergrad is what do I want to do for the rest of my career? Where do I want to contribute in regards to the nuclear industry or whatever industry you're planning to go into? Is it the design engineering side? Is it more of the application engineering? Is it procurement? Is it supply chain? Where in the nuclear industry do I really want to fit in? Do I want to work for the utility? Do I want to work for the regulator? Do I want to work for the vendor? So I think what's interesting about my co-op and internships is I got a chance to work with not only the utility, so doing project management, but also working with different vendors that were working on very, very different things in the nuclear world. You know, I got a flavor of how different departments work. I got a flavor of how different work cultures are at these companies. And most importantly, I got a chance to really experiment, right? Also, when you join 
join companies, it's great because you get that on-site experience, you get training. So companies don't really have a high level of expectations out of you. You have your supervisor who is training you and getting you up to pace with how to do that job as a full-time job. You know, co-ops and interns, they quickly find out that what I'm doing is very enjoyable, okay? Or what I'm doing is not very enjoyable. You know, how I like to see co-ops and internships are really, you know, find what you may not necessarily want to do, okay? So get out of your comfort zone. You may take on tasks and jobs that you may not like, but at the end of the day, you'll say that, hey, listen, at least I got the chance to try this and I'm not necessarily burning four or five years in, you know, in a full-time career having to figure that out. Also, let's jump into graduating with zero interest and also student debt. I think at the moment, we're in a very big financial crisis. Interest rates are only going up and this is also applies to that of student debt. What's great about internships and co-ops, especially the nuclear industry is that they're very well paid and you know, they can pay you around from anywhere from around $25 an hour to that of $45 an hour. So I think even if you're making around $70,000, $65,000 from your co-op or internship, that's actually a significant amount, which you can save aside, you know, save, put aside. And also, you know, here in Canada, what's great is that the tax that you're paying as a student is a lot of it you get back in tax returns. So some might think that, hey, listen, I might do that four year program, graduate and make a little bit more and pay off my student debt then. But no, I think it's actually a really good decision to hold on to that idea, really focus on working in your undergrad, doing those co-ops, doing those internships, getting that diverse set of experiences, getting those portfolios under your belt, those projects, those life experiences, and really saving that money and taking that money aside to just pay off your student loans, right? Instead of taking that interest and, you know, having to really think about that large amounts of frustration on your mind, uh, you could pay off for student loans in advance. And that's something that I got a chance and had the privilege of doing in my undergrad. All right. So lastly, I would like to say is graduating with a full-time job and starting your off career strong. So a trend that I've seen in my undergraduate program is a lot of my classmates that had co-ops and internships, they immediately had the chance to get their full-time jobs right out of the way. And the reason why is because once you're doing these co-ops and internships, you're opening up these networking experiences, you're gaining experiences and getting a chance to network with different divisions, different departments and showcasing your strengths. And what happens is once you graduate, you keep in touch with your colleagues and your colleagues pretty much want you back. They say, Hey, come join me immediately. I want you on my team. And this is what happens to a lot of my colleagues. Whereas a lot of the friends and colleagues that I had classmates, especially who didn't have that undergraduate experience in regards to internships and co-ops, what once they graduated, it was very difficult for them to find a job. So, and it makes sense. An employer would rather hire someone with the security clearance, with those past co-op experiences, project experiences, rather than someone with just the degree alone, right? So, you know, you have that applied knowledge, you have that experience under your belt. And honestly, the trends in the past really point toward getting those co-ops and internship experiences. Lastly, I think, you know, ending off strong is the mental health break. I think co-ops and internships are just giving you a little bit of relaxation from that day-to-day -day grind of just simply studying for 24 hours a day, which feels like for endless four years. I think co-ops and internships provide you, you know, that little break where you can focus on something different. And what happens is when you get on field experiences, you have an easier time absorbing that technical knowledge and, you know, that the academic knowledge, which you may not be able to connect with relevant experiences with. So I find that, you know, strategically having those co-ops and internships in place throughout your undergrad. So I did one after my second year and also after my third year and had that one year of school in between gives you that opportunity. So giving you that strategic break. So there you have it. There's a little bit of overview as to if a two year co-op or internships are worth it. I think it was very much worth it for me in my undergrad. Highly recommend it. Hope you get the chance to really uh, do that. Also in your undergrad, maybe even a one year experience is worth it at minimum. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care. Bye.